Hi guys, um, this week in From, we were talking about, like, uh, the chemical reaction in the brain and, like, the, like, the legit science behind, um, like, romantic love, lust, attachment, desires, and things like that, and at some point, um, during our discussions, someone brought up a really, like, interesting point that kind of just resonated with me. Um, they said something along the lines of, guys are always viewed as the cheater, but who do we think the secretary he is sleeping with is? And I just found that, like, to be, like, a very thought-provoking thing, because it's kind of something that you never think about, but it's so true. You always think about the guy as, you know, the one picking up a prostitute, or the one uh, picking up some chick from a bar, or exactly the secretary that they're cheating on their wife with, but, like, who is the girl that they're picking up? Because the girls are probably just as guilty as the guys. Because if the girls are in the bar, they may be single, but that can't always be true. And I think it's just so fascinating that, like, as a society and as a culture, like, it's our immediate reaction to just, like, always assume that the guy, I guess, is the guilty trace in life. And it's just something that, like, our ego is built upon it, you know, in our ego, it is the guy that's the cheater, and yada, 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 but along the same lines, you know, there's the philosophy that some girls get really upset about, that um, when a guy sleeps around, you know, his buddy can give him high fives and say, like, way to go, but then when a girl does it, you know, she gets called, like, a slut, and it's just, like, it's, like, kind of a really fascinating thing, how, like, our, like, I guess our society has, like, fed into our egos to make us think that way, and it's just kind of really interesting because it's something that, like, guys can be open about, like, their sexuality or the way that they think or the way that they treat women. And even if they, like, cheat on a woman, it's almost, like, expected. But then if a woman does it, it's so much worse or so much bigger. And, like, it's just kind of, it's, it's really interesting the fact that, like, that's just built up by society, I guess, just like supporting that philosophy because otherwise we like never think that way you know and I think that's like a really interesting thing and it just like supports the idea that your ego is so hard to break down because in your head it is the guy but when you really think about it like who is the one he's sleeping with then like then it raises a whole new question because is she married does she have kids is she just as guilty as a party as he is and like I guess um I guess something that like really meshes with me just because it's like relevant to my life is the whole like thing that we bring up a lot about um how when a husband or a wife cheats on each other like the automatic reaction is to just get a divorce that's the go-to answer it's like what society has told you is like the right thing to do and it's kind of fascinating that like you know you never think about like trying to work it out because it's really weird that people are so willing to throw away years of their lives for one action and I'm not saying that like cheating is like an understood or like an okay thing to do but it's just fascinating that people like don't even they never ask like why did you do it or why can we change or help fix or like what made you act this way in the first place they just automatically resort to um I guess just resorting to like protecting themselves or doing what like society says is the norm which is to like get a divorce so like I think with like my parents who like some like similar things happen to and they're actually like still together like they're still working things out not saying that like they didn't think about divorce because that was like one of their first mindsets but the fact that like they work through it shows you that like it's very doable and I think it's really important the whole thing about continuously learning about someone because like even like we know that everyone changes as they get older but like it's kind of true like even as my parents like you know you know them a certain way as a child you know them as your protector and your giver and yada 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 but like now that I'm 18 years old I can kind of like relate to them on a different level because I'm just older and more mature and things that they're going through I can relate to so it's kind of I wonder just like what's gonna happen or if like I need to try to learn about my parents and kind of understand like what they're going through and what they're changing because if I can understand that and they can understand me better about like what I'm interested in now and like what I want to do in life that make maybe it'll like strengthen mine and their relationship which is like not something that a lot of kids think about because I kind of just think we expect our parents to always be there for us which they will always be there for us but you know we can 
help make that like a stronger bond and a stronger connection between parent and child if we actually like try to work with each other and try to respect that we're changing and we need to understand how we're changing and I think that's like something that's either going to make or break relationships as they get older is if the person tries to like relate with me and you know tries to figure out like what we can do to make it work and they respect what I want to do and I respect what they want to do because I think I have a tendency of giving a lot more than I get so I think that's something that like we really talk about is how you like you can't just expect to be different you know you have to work on it and you have to acknowledge that you are different and you have to acknowledge like what you come to terms with so I just think like I think it's just all like really fascinating and it's stuff that like I've never really opened my mind up to so I think it's just like something really cool to think about so this is week number six I think so awesome